Welcome to Cash Your Travel. Today we are going to see about Mackinac Bridge. The Mackinac Bridge is a suspension bridge spanning the Straits of Mackinac to connect the upper and lower peninsulas of the U.S. state of Michigan. Opened in 1957, the 26,372 foot long, 4.995 miles. 8.038 kilometers, 1, bridge, familiarly known as Big Mac and Mighty Mac, 4, is the world's 24th longest main span and the longest suspension bridge between anchorages in the western hemisphere, 5, the Mackinac Bridge is part of Interstate, 75 and the Lake Michigan and Huron components of the Great Lakes Circle tour across the Straits. It is also a segment of the U.S. North Country National Scenic Trail. The bridge connects the city of St. Ignace on the north end with the village of Mackinac City on the south. Envisioned since the 1880s, the bridge was designed by the engineer David B. Steinman and completed in 1957 only after many decades of struggles to begin construction. Length. The bridge opened on November 1, 1957. 6. Connecting two peninsulas linked for decades by ferries. A year later, the bridge was formally dedicated as the world's longest suspension bridge between anchorages, allowing a superlative comparison to the Golden Gate Bridge, which has a longer center span between towers, and the San Francisco OAKLAND Bay Bridge, which has an anchorage in the middle. It remains the longest suspension bridge with two towers between anchorages in the Western Hemisphere. 5. Much longer anchorage to anchorage spans have been built in the Eastern Hemisphere, including the Akashikeki Bridge in Japan, 6,532 feet or 1,991 meters. But the long lead ups to the anchorages on the Mackinac make its total shoreline to shoreline length of 5 miles. 8.0 kilometers, longer than the Akashikeikaiyo, 2.4 miles or 3.9 kilometers. The length of the bridge's main span is 3,800 feet, 1,158 meters, which makes it the third longest suspension span in the United States and 20th longest suspension span worldwide. It is also one of the world's longest bridges overall. History Early History Vacation Land the largest and last Michigan State Highway Department automobile ferry put in service prior to the completion of the Mackinac Bridge. The Algonquian peoples who lived in the Straits area prior to the arrival of Europeans in the 17th century, called this region Michilimackinac, which is widely understood to mean the Great Turtle. This is thought to refer to the shape of what is now called Mackinac Island. This interpretation of the word is debated by scholars. Trading posts at the Straits of Mackinac attracted peak populations during the summer trading season. They also developed as intertribal meeting places 7. As exploitation of the state's mineral and timber resources increased during the 19th century, the area became an important transport hub. In 1881 the three railroads that reached the Straits, the Michigan Central, Grand Rapids and Indiana, and the Detroit, Mackinac and Marquette, jointly established the Mackinac Transportation Company, to operate a railroad car ferry service across the Straits, and connect the two peninsulas 8. Improved highways along the eastern shores of the Lower Peninsula brought increased automobile traffic to the Straits region starting in the 1910s. The state of Michigan initiated an automobile ferry service between Mackinac City and St. Ignace in 1923. It eventually operated nine ferry boats that would carry as many as 9,000 vehicles per day. Traffic backups could stretch as long as 16 miles, 26 kilometers. 9. Plans for the bridge. After the opening of the Brooklyn Bridge in 1883, local residents began to imagine that such a structure could span the straits. In 1884, a store owner in St. Ignace published a newspaper advertisement that included a reprint of an artist's conception of the Brooklyn Bridge with the caption, Proposed Bridge Across the Straits of Mackinac, 10. The idea of the bridge was discussed in the Michigan legislature as early as the 1880s. 
At the time, the Straits of Mackinac area was becoming a popular tourist destination, especially following the creation of Mackinac National Park on Mackinac Island in 1875. At a July 1888 meeting of the board of directors of the Grand Hotel on Mackinac Island, Cornelius Vanderbilt II proposed that a bridge be built across the straits of a design similar to the one then under construction across the Firth of Forth in Scotland. This would advance commerce in the region and help lengthen the resort season of the Hotel 10. Decades went by with no formal action. In 1920, the Michigan State Highway Commissioner advocated construction of a floating tunnel across the straits. At the invitation of the state legislature, C. E. Fowler of New York City put forth a plan for a long series of causeways and bridges across the straits from Cheboygan, 17 miles, 27 kilometers, southeast of Mackinac City, to Street, Ignace, using Boyce Blank, Round and Mackinac Islands as intermediate steps. History of the bridge's design view of a bridge tower. The design of the Mackinac Bridge was directly influenced by the lessons from the first Tacoma Narrows Bridge, which failed in 1940 because of its instability and high winds. Three years after that disaster, Steinman had published a theoretical analysis of suspension bridge stability problems, which recommended that future bridge designs include deep stiffening, trusses to support the bridge deck and an open grid roadway, to reduce its wind resistance. Both of these features were incorporated into the design of the Mackinac Bridge. The stiffening truss is open to reduce wind resistance. The road deck is shaped as an airfoil to provide lift in a crosswind, and the center two lanes are open grid to allow vertical, upward, airflow, which fairly precisely cancels the lift, making the roadway stable in design and winds of up to 150 miles per hour, 240 km/h. Thank you.